Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now I have two general problems when it comes to chargers for phones and for laptops. First of all, I'm on the search always for the perfect charger. And by perfect, I mean one that has enough power to charge to do all the latest quick charging and fast charging and one that has multiple ports because I'm just tired of having so many extension leads and filling up all the sockets in the house with all these different chargers. And the second problem is I have is I like to have two chargers for my laptop. And the reason for that is I like to have a charger that's just in my travel bag, ready to go. So I don't need to unwire and plug out and, you know, find where the cable went to take away my laptop. I just take the laptop and leave the charger where it is. Now, I was looking for a second charger for my MacBook Pro with the M1 in it. And I came across the Pine Power desktop power supply. Now the Pine Power comes from the same people that make the Pine 64 single board computers. In fact, I've got a review of the Rock Pro 64 here on this channel and they have this charger and it solves both of my problems. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. So here it is, the Pine Power desktop charger. As you can see, there are four USB type A connectors here across the front. This one is a quick charge 3.0 compatible port. The other three pump out up to 15 watts of energy. That's five volts at three amps. And then we also have a 65 watt power delivery USB-C port. So using this, I can actually connect up my MacBook Pro and charge it over USB-C. And I can connect up other devices, including a quick charge device. And here at the top there is 10 watt wireless charging. And there is this nifty display which shows you the volts and the amps being drawn by each of the ports. Now, since it's able to pump out 120 watts in total, that means you can use up to 65 watts on the power delivery port, USB-C, and you've got ample space there to use all the other ports at the same time, and it will be able to charge up laptops. It can power a Raspberry Pi. It can power, of course, a Rock Pro 64 or another Pine 64 board. It can be wireless charging your phone on the top, and it's kind of this one neat station that kind of answers all of my personal charging needs. Just like to point out this is not a sponsored video, I actually bought this because I actually really need it and I've been using it every day since I got it. So now my permanent setup is this, I have the Pine Power on my desktop, it connects to my MacBook Pro, it's always there for charging that. The charger that came with my MacBook Pro now goes into my travel bag and I can also use this to charge up other devices or power single board computers like a Raspberry Pi or a Pine 64 board of some kind like the Rock Pro 64 and it all works. And being the nerd that I am, having that little display showing me how much current, how much uh, voltage is being used on each port, I find really, really interesting. And it also helps you no uh, monitor the kind of how the status of each charging cycle because you can see the uh, kind of the amps drop down as it's drawing uh, less and less. So really, really useful. And before I go, I just want to mention the Gary Explains newsletter. Do sign up at GaryExplains.com. No spam, just a newsletter. Comes out about once a month, covering everything I'm doing here on the Gary Explains channel, everything I'm doing over on the Android Authority channel, and other stuff that I have found interesting on the internet. GaryExplains.com, sign up there, no spam, just the uh, newsletter, and I think you'll find it interesting. And in one sense, that's it. It just works. I've had no issues with it. Nothing, no issues with heating, no issues with bad connections, no issues with it not recognizing what's being plugged in, no issues with incompatibilities. Assuming you're using the right cables, of course, quality cables with the right sort of internal wiring, it works absolutely perfectly. And the kicker for me is this that it only costs $35. Now, if I go out to an Apple store to try to buy an original replacement charger for my MacBook Pro, I'm going to be paying certainly more than $35. Here I get a power delivery 65 watt charger, plus all those other USB uh, A ports, plus wireless charging, all for $35. Now, the only twist in the tail is that this comes directly from China, which means although it costs $35 uh, when I buy it, I did have to pay import charges into Europe when I bought that, and it took about three weeks to get here. But if you're prepared to do those two things, uh, you're, and you're prepared to wait, you're prepared to pay the taxes, then it really is a bargain. 
Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this short video looking at the Pine Power desktop supply. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, don't rely on the YouTube recommendation algorithm. Much better to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon. And then you'll know every time I drop a video here on this channel. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.